Hello beautiful people. Thank you so much for tuning in, watching, and listening. This is going to be the February 2022 uh, general tarot reading for the zodiac sign of Taurus. Um, as always, my readings are very intuitive, so I'll provide you any intuitive messages that I receive as well as the meaning of the tarot cards. I do, however, recommend you check out your sun, moon, and rising to get a full picture of everything that's going on this month for you. In column number one, we're going to take a look at what's wrapping up, coming to a close, so things have happened in the last few weeks or month. Column two, we're going to take a look at February in general. Column three is going to be on money. Column four is love. And column five, fifth and final column, will be a message from your future self or spirit guides. That's something to carry into February with you. Additionally, we are going to do a crystal of the month, a healing note, and three yes or no questions. But let's go and jump in and get started. We're going to pull a card here that serves as a summary. We have the card heat. Um, when I see this, it typically means that things are starting to move. Um, things are like heating up and getting going for you. So that's good. But let's clarify and see what's happened these last few weeks for you. The first card that we have is the Three of Swords. The Three of Swords um, is a, a card of low feelings. It's heartbreak. It's loss, it's depression, um, it's really being sad. So some of you might have felt some really hard feelings in the last few weeks, Taurus. Um, it could have just been a few hard weeks for you. The next card that we have is the Nine of Cups. The Nine of Cups is wishes coming true, it's material abundance, it's good health. Um, so you may have found that you've been able to manifest or accomplish some things that you really wanted. Um, this is a time of abundance too for you, as well as good health. Some of you could have been not feeling very good and now you're turning the corner there and starting to feel better. The last card we have in this column is the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords is very fast paced. It's lifestyle change. Um, so there's some sort of shift for you. Hopefully it's a shift getting away from that Three of Swords energy, um, kind of moving yourself into a better place. But let's clarify and see what messages come up. The first clarifying card we have is the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands is very confident, very self-assured. Um, what I'm getting is that you kind of had to do some self-soothing self through those lower emotions. Um, you kind of had to reassure, reassure yourself that everything was going to be okay. I feel like some of you maybe were feeling a little alone the last few weeks as you dealt with some of the tougher things that were happening. The next card we have is the Ace of Swords. Anytime we have an Ace card, this is a card of newness. Um, typically it's a new idea or some sort of new mental clarity. Um, I do feel like you attracted this new thing to yourself though, Taurus. Um, with that Nine of Cups on the bottom there, this is very much so uh, making your wishes coming true. Um, this could be new health, too, like a get, like I said, for some of you getting over a cold or getting over an illness. And then at the bottom here, we have the Devil card. The Devil card is like an envious, materialistic card. Um, some of you could have just been, like, caught up in things that other people are doing, um, or just maybe, like, feeling selfish with your time or your space or your energy, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but it's continuing off that Three of Swords where your energies weren't quite right the last few weeks, Taurus. However, we're on top of the Nine of Swords, which is a quick lifestyle change. So I think things are gonna crack for you and level out, if they haven't already. Now let's talk about February, what's coming for you in February. We have the card preservation. Um, what's coming to mind off the bat is making sure that you're preserving your energy, taking care of yourself, thinking about having a bubble around yourself, Taurus, and only letting good things in and reflecting bad things off of you, things that you don't want. Um, but let's take a look and see what cards we have here. To kick off with, we have the death card. Um, the death card does not mean death. I know some people see it and are a little freaked out. It's actually the opposite. The death card is a really great card. Um, this is a big change. Something's coming to an end for you, Taurus. Um, but it's going to be really, really positive. It leads to transformation, almost like a rebirth. So it's a major shifting point for you. Um, we had that heat up card before, so things are starting to move and shift for you. Of course, we'll clarify that more. 
The next card we have is the King of Swords. The King of Swords is very intentional. It's very strategic. Um, it's careful thought. Um, so some of you seem to be planning for something, very carefully planning for something. Maybe it's this new chapter or change that's coming to you. And then at the bottom here, we have the Ten of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles is a card of leaving a legacy. It's retirement, inheritance. Um, some of you could be retiring, which is really exciting. Congratulations to those who are. You could also be getting an inheritance from a family member. Um, but on the note of leaving a legacy, it's very similar to that King of Swords where we're planning, we're intentional, we're thinking about long term. So what I'm getting is that you're shifting for long term. Um, you've kind of been going on a certain path and now we're checking and adjusting and shifting gears um, to make sure that you're on the course that you want to be on. Um, but let's clarify and see what other messages we have here. We have the Five of Swords. The Five of Swords is a card of like bullies, theft, violence, abusive relationships. This is not good energy and in some cases it can be not good people. I actually like that this is paired on the death card because with the death card we get to put an end to something and move on to something new. Um, so the shift that you're going through I think is actually related to some people. So you may be cutting off friends or finding new friends or moving out of some cycle of not very good energy. Again, bullies, theft, violence. Um, these aren't healthy relationships and the death is indicating that we're going to move away from that. The next card we have is the Ace of Pentacles. Um, we have our two aces in the row um, right next to each other here. So again, lining up quite nicely. We also have the repeat Nine of Cups. The Ace of Pentacles, again, anytime we have an Ace card, is a card of newness. In this case, it's typically new job, raise, um, promotion, investment, some sort of money news. Again, we had a money news card here at the bottom with the Ten of Pentacles. Um, so definitely it feels like there's some new money coming in for you, Taurus, um, through different channels. And it's going to, again, be intentional. It's long term. It's st strategic. So it's feeling really good. Again, we're checking, adjusting, and putting you back on the right path. At the bottom here, we have the Nine of Cups. The Nine of Cups is a card of wishes coming true. It's material abundance, good health. Um, I do feel like some of you are getting healthier again, which is good. Um, but it's strong money cards together. Um, this is a card of abundance as well as that Ten of Pentacles. It's long-term money. Um, so I'm new long-term money is what's coming through here. Um, but good shifts. In the next column, let's talk specifically about money. I feel like we've talked about it quite a bit already. But this is your job, finances, career, businesses you run, investments you have, really anything associated with money. So let's take a peek at money and see what we get here, even though it's come up quite a bit. Look at more pinnacle cards in your money column. How convenient, Taurus. Um, but to kick things off with, we have the King of Cups. The King of Cups is very supportive. Um, it's very tol tolerant, very empathetic. This is a card of leaders, so some of you could have a leadership role. People could see you as a leader, or your job may actually be a leadership role. Leader is the word that's sticking out there. Of course, we'll clarify. The next card that we have is the Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles um, is very resourceful. This is a great card to have when it comes to the money column, because having money and being resourceful go hand in hand. So general positive card for the money column there. Then we have the Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles is very reliable, patient, hardworking. Um, these are like attribute cards with our Knight of Cups and our King, or excuse me, our King of Cups and Knight of Pentacles. Um, but I feel like you're working hard, you're being seen. In this leadership role, you're supportive, you're patient. Um, overall looking good. Let's clarify though and see what messages we get here. We have the Knight of Wands. Um, the Knight of Wands is very free-spirited, very creative. It's on top of that King of Cups. What I'm getting is that if you are a leader, you should be enabling your staff to be creative. Um, there might be a more efficient way to do business or a better way to make money or a better way to do something. Um, make sure that you're being supportive, that you're being tolerant, that you're being empathetic. Um, partnership is coming through as a really strong message here. I think there's something more 
that somebody else can offer you that hasn't been tapped into yet, Taurus. So just keep that in mind. The next card we have is the Seven of Swords. The Seven of Swords, um, it can be betrayal. I'm not really getting that. But it's also like picking up your things and like moving away from something. But I do think that what this is saying is that you're moving into a more resourceful period of time or maybe before you weren't managing money so well or resources so well or employees so well. Um, but we are moving into a much more resourceful period of time for you, Taurus. Then at the bottom here, we have another repeat card. So we have two Ten of Pentacles right next to each other. Again, this is a card of inheritance. This is a card of retirement. Um, this is a card of leaving a legacy. Definitely some of you can be retiring. Again, congratulations for those of you that are. Um, but this is saying that you're on the right money path long term. Um, it's on top of that Knight of Pentacles. So it's kind of confirmation that your hard work is paying off. Now, Taurus, let's talk about love. Um, so this could be family, children, single, married, relationships, really anything related to love. So let's see what messages we get in the love column here. The first card we have is the King of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles is very solid, very practical. Um, again, this is a leader card. You have two side-by-side -side leader cards. Um, but I think that this is saying that you're a very solid, practical thinker when it comes to relationships. I think if you're single, you know what you want. You have reasonable expectations. Um, same thing if you're in a relationship. Solid is what's sticking out there. The next card we have is the Ten of Cups. Those of you who have listened to my readings before know that my favorite card in the entire deck is the Ten of Cups. We have this full rainbow of cups. We have a happy couple here. We have kids here. There's water running, green grass, nice house in the background. The Ten of Cups to me is like the card of everything. Um, it's a card of family. It's a card of contentment. It's a card of total love and support. Um, if you're seeking a relationship, I think you're going to find a really great new partner. If you're in a relationship, um, I think that as well, like this is a very healthy relationship. Some of you could be single and be happy and well and content and have that unconditional love for yourself as well. It doesn't necessarily have to be with another person. Um, if you're hoping for children too, this is a really wonderful family card. So there could possibly be some fertility in there. The next card we have is the Justice card. The Justice card is like a cause and effect. It's win-win. Um, justice is in your favor though. So I feel like there is kind of tying back to what I was just saying, like if you're single, you're in a really good, happy place. If you want to be in a relationship, you're going to be in a really good, happy place. If you're in a relationship, all of these paths are win, win, win for you, Taurus. Let's clarify this column though and see what other messages we have here. The first card at the top here is the Page of Cups. The Page of Cups is a card of new love. So if you're hoping for a new relationship, I do think that will happen for you. It's paired with that King of Pentacles. Again, this is very solid, practical. I feel like you know so well what you want, Taurus, that if you want a relationship, it's absolutely available to you. You will find what you're seeking. The next card we have is the Tower card. The Tower card is sometimes a tower moment. It could be unwanted change. It kind of like throws you off your rhythm here. Um, but what I'm getting is that you've been in this place where you've been off of your rhythm. Like maybe a relationship ended that you didn't want or maybe you didn't want to be single or maybe you did want to be single. Like there was some sort of unwanted change in the love realm at some point in time and you've been kind of riding that wave, but now we're moving into this stage of contentment, whether it's with somebody new or by yourself. Um, so the grass is greener on the other side, things are looking for, there's the light at the end of the tunnel kind of deal there, Taurus. Um, the next card we have is the Five of Pentacles. The Five of Pentacles can be a card of ill health. Um, it could be worry. Sometimes it's financial loss. Um, sometimes it's isolation too, but isolation doesn't necessarily mean a bad thing. 
I think what the message I'm getting here is I think some of you have been worried about something. And remember with this justice card, it's a win-win no matter what direction we go, no matter what happens, no matter what path you take. All of these options are winning situations for you, Taurus. So don't lose sight of that or forget. Now let's move into our fifth and final column, which is a message from our future self or spirit guide. This is something to take into the month of February with you. We have the card clarity. So some of you will be getting some clarity likely in February, but let's see what the message is. So we're going to kick off with the Ace of Pentacles. I think I said this once already when we had the other Ace of Pentacles over here. Um, but the ace of, anytime we have an ace card, it's a card of newness. This is still coming in as new job, new raise, new promotion, new investment, some sort of new money news. Um, maybe you're getting clarity on something. Maybe you've learned like, oh, instead of investing in X, I need to invest in Y. Um, clarity is somehow leading you to this money though. Maybe through this transformation, you're getting more clarity. But clarity is somehow bringing you to this new money. And as we've talked about, this new money is here to stay. The next card that we have is the Nine of Wands. The Nine of Wands is keeping and maintaining boundaries. It's a card of persistence. Um, so you need to just kind of keep pushing forward is the message I'm getting. You may not have all of the clarity, but it's coming to you. So in that moment of not having clarity, do make sure you keep kind of chipping away and pushing forward, Taurus. The next card we have is the Hermit. The Hermit is a card of going within for answers, going within for clarity. Um, you're on your personal quest, you're trying to find your personal truth. This light here is actually the light within you, it's that clarity within you. So you have two clarity cards in this column, um, but as you get stuck or as you feel like you're pushing through, keep checking in with yourself, checking for clarity, checking for understanding. Um, you have the answers that you need. So let's run through a quick clarification on this column here. The first card we have is the Eight of Swords. The Eight of Swords is a card of self-imposed restrictions. Um, this makes sense because I was talking about how you need to keep pushing and going within. This person is bandaged down, their arms, their legs, they're blindfolded, but their sword stuck in the ground everywhere and they can easily scoop back and just cut themselves free. So this is like your reminder to just keep pushing. If you're stuck, it's because you're telling yourself you're stuck, Taurus. So keep, keep pushing. The next card that we have is the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords is very self-sufficient. Um, it's interesting because this is a lot about new money and this is just indicating this new self-sufficiency that you'll have with this money. Then conveniently here at the bottom, we're gonna have another money card for you. I feel like you needed this money validation, Taurus. Uh, but we have the Nine of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles is luxury, it's self-sufficiency, it's financial gain. Um, so we have two self-sufficiency cards back to back, specific to money. Um, but yes, definitely money coming in for you and it's gonna kind of set you free there, Taurus. At this point in time, I'm going to give you the opportunity to ask three yes or no questions. We're going to use the Gypsy Witch fortune telling deck. If you don't have questions in mind, you can pause the video and think of them really quick. But for question number one, we have the Seven of Spades. This is the number 25 card. That's going to be a no. Question number two, we have the Four of Clubs. This is the number four card. That's going to be a yes. And for question number three, we have the two of spades, the number 34 card, which is a yes. So no, yes, yes for you, Taurus. Now we're going to pull a card, oops, maybe, from our Healing Stones deck. Um, this is a crystal to keep with you for the month of February. Keep it in your pocket, put it on your nightstand, keep it on your desk at work. The crystal you have this month is emerald. Um, emerald har helps with harmony, beauty. It opens you up for your yourself or your partner. It revitalizes you. It gives you a sense of togetherness. And last but not least, we're going to do a note from our healing notes deck because we can always use more healing. Your note says, however you change through this journey, you will always be my inspiration. You will always be you. 
Thank you so much, Taurus, for turning, tuning in, watching, and listening. Please do like, comment, subscribe, and let me know how this video resonates with you. If you subscribe, you'll be notified when I post future videos, and I do typically post a couple Taurus videos a month. Also, if you feel inclined, I did include my comment or my Venmo in the comments box if you'd like to make a donation. But thank you so much, Taurus, and have a wonderful February.